Wow, the sky is full of stars tonight. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam, Baba. What were you looking at, Amir? Come here, Baba, and look at this. What is it? Look at the sky, Baba. It's it's so beautiful. Hmm, Masha Allah, it's really beautiful. Are you going to tell me a story tonight? Of course I will. Insha Allah, I think I will tell you the story of Prophet Shammil alayhi salam today. Masha Allah, that's great. Prophet Shammil, or Samuel alayhi salam, was a revered prophet and a seer. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Now listen carefully. Bismillah. The story of Prophet Shammil alayhi salam. As time passed, the children of Israel started forgetting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they committed many sins. They had a tyrant king who ill-treated them and spilled their blood. He dragged the country to frequent wars and depleted the resources of the country. The children of Israel used to go to war carrying the Ark of the Covenant with them. They did so because they believed that this Ark would bring them good luck. They won every war until one day the Philistine army snatched the Ark from them. Not only did they lose the Ark, they lost the war as well. When the king heard what happened, he suffered a heart attack and died on the spot. The children of Israel were now left without a king. They were now like a sheep without a shepherd. It was then that God sent them a prophet named Shammil alayhi salam. They were now very happy. They asked the prophet to appoint a strong leader so that they could fight against the Philistines and take back the ark. Prophet Shammil alayhi salam knew their weakness and warned them. I fear that you may refuse when the time of fight arrives. But the people assured the Prophet that they were ready to fight in the way of Allah. That night, the Prophet prayed to Allah for guidance. It was then that Allah informed the Prophet that he had selected a man named Talut to be their king. But the Prophet was confused now. How will I recognize this man? He asked God. Then God told him that Talut would come to Shammil in some time by himself. Shammil was instructed to hand over the control of the kingdom to Talut. Talut was a tall, sturdy and very intelligent man who lived with his father in a farm far away. He lived and worked with his father in that farm. One day, Talat, accompanied by his servant, were out looking for his missing donkeys. They traveled for many days searching for the donkeys, but they could not find them. Let us go back, said Talat to his servant. My father would have started worrying by now, and there are other animals to be taken care of. Master, replied the servant, this is the land where Prophet Shammil lives. I think we should go and pay him a visit. We can also ask him about the lost donkeys. Talut agreed that it was a good idea and went to meet the Prophet. On their way, they asked directions from some women carrying water. The women told them that they can find the Prophet's house on top of the mountain. Talut and his servant walked up the mountain as they had been told. When they finally arrived at the place, they saw a large crowd in front of the house of the Prophet. Talat saw Prophet Shammil alayhi salam standing in front of the crowd and immediately realized that he was indeed a holy man. The Prophet saw Talat standing at a distance and he recognized that Talat was the chosen one to become the king of Israel. Talat greeted the Prophet respectfully. He then asked the Prophet about his missing donkeys. Don't worry. Replied the Prophet, the donkeys are already on their way to your father's farm. The Prophet then informed Talat that Allah had chosen him to lead the children of Israel. The Prophet told him that Talut was to take charge of their affairs. He was to unite them under one banner and to protect them from their enemies. Talut was surprised by the sudden honor offered to him. It was also a huge responsibility. He told the Prophet that he didn't know anything about leadership. 
and neither did he have any wealth. But the Prophet calmed him by saying it was the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Prophet Shammal introduced Talut as the next king to the children of Israel. But the people were not happy. He is from Benjamin's tribe, shouted one. He was not wealthy from birth, shouted another. How can he be a king over us when we have greater right to kinship than he? He does not have any wealth. But the Prophet answered them calmly, Allah has indeed appointed Talut as a king over you. He has increased him abundantly in knowledge and stature. Allah grants his kingdom to whom he wills. He is the all-wise. After a long argument, the people demanded that if the long-lost chest contained the belongings of Prophet Musa was restored, they would accept Talut as their king. Talut was appointed as the king and he immediately set about organizing his army. He ordered that only men free from responsibilities should join the army. He asked those building homes, those who were about to be married, and those who were engaged in business not to join the army. He put them through vigorous trainings and gave them strict rules to follow. After a few days, Talut set out for war against the Philistines. They traveled for many days and nights through the desert. After days of traveling, they reached the banks of a river. Talut decided to put his army to go through a test. You are allowed to drink water from the river, but only to quench your thirst. Not more than that, he ordered them. But the soldiers were really tired and many of them drank more than they needed. Talut was disappointed when he found this. He immediately discharged them for disobedience. He kept only those who had proved their sincerity. Like this, he put his army through several tests and by the time they came face to face with the Philistine army, there were only about 30 soldiers left with him. But Talut was not bothered. He believed in quality and not in numbers. He thought it was better to be a small band of true believers rather than a huge army of unreliable men. With this small army, he faced the Philistine army who were very strong and armed with better weapons. They were led by Goliath a mighty warrior from Philistine. He was a gigantic person known for his huge build and brute strength. A great number of Talut's men ran away when they saw such a huge army. What happened then? Who won the war? <laughs> I will tell you about that tomorrow. MashaAllah, that was such an amazing story. Now are you ready for the questions? Yes, I am. All right, now here's the first question. What did the children of Israel lose after their war with the Philistines? Hmm, was it because they had lost the ark? That's correct. Now tell me what did the children of Israel ask Prophet Shammil alayhi salam? They asked the Prophet to appoint a king to lead them. Masha Allah, that's correct again. How did Talut find the Prophet? Hmm, Talut was searching for his lost donkeys and they wandered to the land where the Prophet lived. And why did they go and meet the Prophet? Talut's servant thought that the Prophet would be able to say where the donkeys were. Masha Allah, that's great! You are doing great, Amr. Thank you, Baba. Which tribe did Talut belong to? He belonged to the tribe of Binyamin. That's correct again. Now for the last question. Who was the leader of the Philistine army? It was Goliath. Inshallah, you did great, my son. I will see you again tomorrow with the story of Prophet Dawood alayhi salam. Good night, Baba. Good night, Amr.